Hello, this is Let's Play FB Games, and I am back with some more Universe Mode. This is episode 62. We're getting ever close to that 69. I'm kidding, but uh, we're getting further on in the Universe Mode, and we're getting ever closer to Money in the Bank. So, we've got some more Money in the Bank la qualifying matches to get into the ladder match at Money in the Bank. Uh, opening the show, we have Christian taking on the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. Following this, we have Rob Van Damme taking on Sergeant Slaughter, also to try and qualify. All these matches tonight qualifying matches. None is not. Uh, none of them aren't. Goldberg will be taking on the returning Zack Ryder to try and qualify. And Yokozuna McFoley will both be trying to qualify in this match as well. And in the main event, two, uh, the team that wins will both, both of the people in it will qualify. We've got Bubba Ray and Devon Dudley taking on Andre the Giant and King Kong Bundy with Ted DiBiase. So we've got an interesting card tonight, and um, we'll get underway, obviously. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, uh, YouTube says this is my 200th upload. Uh, I think it is. So if it is, um, happy to 100th upload to me. Um, I'll talk a bit more when the entrances have both been done by Christian and Ted DiBiase, and then we can get some uh, speaking done. Sorry if you heard some whispering there, it's just my sister, she just came into my room to um, just say hi because she's just got home from school early, so um, yeah, let's go with the first match. Let me, uh, if you've not noticed already, I did change the apron and I also changed the floor around the outside of the ring. To be darker, so it didn't look as bright. Uh, I hope it works, because the red was the red looked way too bright. I was trying to get a darker shade of brown or a darker color. Uh, I thought I was gonna use black, but that's WWE colors, and this is ECW. We don't we don't do anything with the WWE. Uh, so as I was saying before the match, um, yeah, this is my 200th upload, and uh, I didn't think I'd done that many. If you count all the uh, universe modes, all the cafe lives, all the attempted Minecrafts, uh, all the other series is that I tried to do, which aren't many. I tried the WWE 12 Brock Lesnar thing, that fucked up. Uh, there's not a series I haven't finished. Well, technically I finished Cafe Life because the game shut down. Um, 
Well, that's technically I finished Minecraft because, well, I had other episodes recorded, but I couldn't. I can't be bothered wasting my time uploading them because they're not really that good anyway. But when um, when I do get my capture card properly sorted, I will get some. I will record some Xbox Minecraft, and that'll hopefully be that be pretty good because yeah, Xbox, Minecraft on Xbox doesn't lag. First of all, second of all. Uh, It'd be pretty good to just get some Minecraft, more Minecraft on, because I like playing Minecraft. It's just, uh, it's so laggy on my computer, and I don't know how to stop it. So yeah, I tried. Uh, people have suggested ways of me stopping the lag, but uh, yeah, it didn't work. So I'm, I've stopped the Minecraft series. But I've done a few other series. Is not really. I've done most of the WWE videos actually. Uh, I did 50 odd episodes of 13. I did uh, about 20 episodes of. 12 with Brock Lesnar. I also did those matches, those WWE 13 matches. I got about eight of those out, which isn't really good. This is this WWE 2K14 Universe mode here is my longest running series to date. Uh, at the moment, it's on 61 episodes, but if you count this, it's 62. I also changed the colors on the announce table, so it fitted in. I maybe should have changed the barricades as well, but I didn't. I like the barricades red anyway, so. Uh, as you can tell, the floor is not as bright, but uh, I think it's just my phone that makes it look bright, I suppose. And Ted DiBiase is sending Chris another the steps. Ted DiBiase hasn't done really much in my universe mode. He's had uh, two matches, I think. Both were against Big Show and Big John Stud. One was with Andre Giant, the other was with King Kong Monday, but uh, yeah, he's only had two matches, so. He goes to work with that sledgehammer on Christian. Originally, in the main event, there was um, Devon Dudley uh, taking on Andre the Giant in a false count anywhere match, and I thought that's a pretty good match. That's a, that's a, that would actually be a cool match. But I'd already I already planned a tag team match for the main event, so I had to delete that. But I think uh, the, t the tag team match will go down pretty well. The two teams have faced each other twice before, both for the tag titles. Once at One Night Stand. Where the Dudleys tried to win the tag titles and came up short. Um, the other time was last week when the Dudleys won the tag team titles in a flaming table match, which was a hell of a match, but it was kind of yeah messed up, messy sort of match, I suppose you could call it. But um, yeah, so. These two teams were fist off uh, before. I was going to make a tonight one for the tag team championship uh, for the Andre the Giant and Ken Combundis rematch, but I thought, nah, because it's a uh, qualifying match for the Money in the Bank and uh, Andre the Giant and Teddy Bias can have the uh, Andre the Giant and King Combundis could have their rematch whenever they wanted, but not tonight because it's only Money in the Bank qualifiers tonight. No championship matches this week. As you saw on Raw, there was no hardcore title match because of the Money in the Bank qualifying matches. And Christian's setting up for a kill switch, and he's going to hit it. Ted DiBiase is busted open. And one, two, three. Christian goes on to Money in the Bank. He's going to be the first confirmed guy from ECW to qualify. So Christian picking up the win over, um, I forgot his name, Teddy Biasi, and he is the first confirmed person uh, to qualify for the Money in the Bank ladder match. So next we've got obviously Rob Van Dam, Sergeant Slaughter, I might change the background as well because that's rather bright. Um, yes, yeah, so this is the second match and this is also to qualify and 
The winner of this will become the second qualified person from ECW to get into that match. There's a lot of qualifier there, you know. Here comes, the, here comes Rob Van Damme. Rather bright, but you know. What they really should have done was um, put an alternate attire in for Sergeant Slaughter where he had his American attire on, but you know, it's okay. Sergeant Slaughter and Rob Van Dam. I know who I want to win this, but I know who will win it. And they're, they're two different people. I want Rob Van Dam to win it, but I know Slaughter will win it because the game doesn't want the people to win who I want to win. Although I did want Christian to win that last match, so I suppose that can count. Um, so yeah, this is the second qualifying match of the night. Following this will be Goldberg taking on Zack Ryder. I think we're going to uh, see a squash match there, but uh, Ryder making his return. We haven't seen him for a while. He did sign for Raw, but he never got an appearance. Or at least I think he didn't. He might have got one or two, but he said he'd rather be in ECW because... That's where he can thrive, and that's where he got more TV time. And Ryder wants to try and get back to the top of the ECW list. The list, well, not back to top, but try and get to the top because he wasn't at the top before. But you know, yeah. So if that Ryder can beat Goldberg, then that's going to be one giant leap for mankind. For Mick Foley, who is also in action tonight. Um, that was meant to be a joke, but you know, forget it. Rob Van Damme and Sergeant Slaughter going into the outside early, and Van Damme is taking control of the outside, but Slaughter, DDT, going to knock Van Damme out. Uh, this episode is sponsored by Dr. Pepper, because I've got some, but I'm not going to drink any, because I'm not, I'm not really thirsty yet, so if I need a drink, I'll get a drink. I actually thought today I was recording main event because I thought I'd done ECW, but apparently I have. Uh, well, I hadn't. There's something wrong in my mind there or something, I don't know. If there was a July pay per view, this would be uh, the last ECW before it. Because, well, it's the second week of shows and if there was a pay-per-view we'd be coming up to it but there's no scheduled ECW pay-per-view for July because ECW are working with WWE for money in the bank the second pay-per-view of the universe they're going to be working together for the third of course will be the Royal Rumble and the fourth will be Wrestlemania I would do a, uh, I would do a WrestleMania with, uh, I would do ECW barely illegal. I think that's, uh, I think that's the uh, ECW main pay-per-view. But you know, I can't do that because 
First of all, I want more than seven matches on it, because I'm going to have more than seven matches on WrestleMania. And second, there's only 23 on the ECW roster, so I won't get far with with them. So we're gonna if I don't get more if I don't get more ECW superstars, then I'll have to do a joint show. But if I can get more ECW guys, there may be a chance of me doing uh, Bailey Legal. Is it Bailey Legal? I think it is. If it's not Bailey Legal, then it's something else. I keep I keep wanting to say Bound for Glory, but that's TNA. No, it's uh, barely legal. I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's a broken chair. I thought it was something else. I don't know what I was then, but it's a broken chair. Neckbreaker on the outside to slaughter, and Van Dam could have this match in the bag if he can get slot back in the ring. Ah, oh, no, I butt the head. I need to try and keep this under an hour because I need to go out at quarter past four and the time is approximately three o'clock so I need to try and get this done within preferably the next 45 minutes so an hour an hour that would be, an hour one so because I, I need to get ready to take my, cause I'm taking my dog down to the vet uh, Cobra Clutch And like I said, Sergeant Slaughter would qualify. And I don't know why he came up with the breaking point thing, because I wasn't in that match. I wasn't even wrestling in that match, so... Sergeant Slaughter continues his dominance. Slaughter pulling off a shock win. I think Van Damme was screwed by the game there. Now up next is Goldberg and Zack Ryder. There's only one winner in this, of course. But, you know. We're going to have the match anyway in case Zack Ryder can pull off an upset. Goldberg looks like the guy who's going to win this, though. In all honesty. All the crowd is seeming they're happy to see Ryder back. And Ryder's happy to be back. Ryder knows he's got an uphill battle here, but if he wins, that would be pretty much the upset the ever. The upset of ECW. If you're getting in there with Zack Ryder, you best be prepared for high flying moves, stiff kicks, and lots of fist pumps. You know it. Woo, woo, woo. Zack Ryder taking the advantage. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think anyone expected this. 
Did anyone expect Zack Ryder to go work on Goldberg straight away? I sure as hell didn't. Oh. Yeah, well that was an early floor of moment, but I think Goldberg has it now. Like I said, if Zack Ryder can pull this out, it'll be the upset of the century. Jack Hammer. No, I'm kidding, not yet. Um, third match, third qualifying match, and we've just heard on the, uh, we've just heard by Paul Heyman that Rob Van Dam and Sergeant Slaughter are going to have a rematch. RVD said that he felt uh, felt like he was beaten wrongly by Slaughter, and Slaughter said he just beat him fairly and easily. But Rob Van Dam wasn't proving to be much of a challenge, so. Next week we'll see Rob Van Dam and Sergeant Slaughter in a rematch. And if Van Dam can beat Slaughter next week, then we're going to see Van Dam in that match. But if Van Dam loses, uh, then yeah, if Van Dam loses, then he has to leave the company. So big stakes for Rob Van Dam next week on ECW. Slaughter said that if he loses as well, if Slaughter loses, then he's just going to quit wrestling forever. So one of the men are going to be leaving. It's going to be the Van Damme or it's going to be Slaughter next week. It's pretty much a loser leaves leaves the ECW match. But it's for it's a money in the bank qualifier because Rob Van Damme uh, said that he got distracted and that he, he was unfairly beaten and... Well, I agree. He was uh, he was distracted by someone in the crowd. I think I'm not sure. I couldn't see that well, but uh, maybe he was. Maybe he wasn't. We'll never know. But um, we're gonna have a rematch next week, regardless. Wow, is that Ryder going to work? And Goldberg with a huge suplex. I'll give Ryder this. He is fighting, and he's lasted longer than I thought. And if he wins, if Zack Ryder wins, I think Goldberg should just quit wrestling completely. Goldberg getting a baseball bat. Ryder not letting him get in it. and <laughs> Ryder trying to get a weapon, but oh wow. A bit of reversalizing on the outside there. Don't know how I call it reversalizing. But Goldberg now going to work on Ryder. And uh, Ryder's lasted longer than I thought, in all honesty. I thought he'd be over in like a minute. I thought Goldberg, I thought Ryder would have no offence and Goldberg would hit the jackhammer within a minute and pick up the win, but Zack Ryder is fighting. Zack Ryder wants that money in the bank slot as much as anyone else. Uh-oh. Military press spine buster. And now he's following it up with a jackhammer on the outside. That's not a smart idea because it can only pin on the inside, but maybe that's where Goldberg's got getting to but Ryder reverses it. Is that right if he's got a signature finish and he needs to get back in the ring? This is that right a signature, I don't know the name of it though. The boom box bastard bitch. And now the Rough Rider. No, whoa, whoa. Wow, into the post. And is that right at getting Goldberg back into the ring? Knocking him down. One, two. Goldberg. Rough Rider! Rough Rider! Is that Rider gonna beat him? Oh my god, seriously. Seriously. Seriously! Well, shit. Wow. 
So that round just defeated Goldberg. Well then. I'm just speechless. That has to be the shock of the universe. Zack Ryder just defeated Goldberg to get into the Money in the Bank ladder match. So now in the match is Christian and Zack Ryder. It's going to be Yoko or McFoley going in next. There'll be the third man to qualify. I can tell you what, this is going to be a very physical match for both these men. Especially Foley. I actually took a look and uh, I did the match with Yokozuna with Mr. Fuji and then I did the match Yokozuna without Mr. Fuji and it actually takes longer for him to come down without Mr. Fuji maybe Mr. Fuji knows where the ring is and Yokozuna has to find it without him or something I don't know Yokozuna takes forever How is this man even going to be able to climb a ladder if he wins this match? Here comes his opponent. Foley ready to try and qualify as is Yokozuna. <laughs> and like I said, how is Yokozuna going to uh, uh, be able to climb the ladder? <laughs> Jerry Lawler just talking about Yokozuna in there and how about he, what, uh, how about how he weighed about 600 pounds. He said, oh wow, that's a lot of sushi. And I was like, fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, racist. But no, Yokozuna's only 505 pounds, don't worry. He's only 505 pounds of sushi. <laughs> no, but before I was really interrupted, uh, Yokozuna is, does weigh quite a lot, and I don't know how he's going to climb the ladder without breaking it. I mean, obviously he won't because this is a game, it's not real life, but if it was, if it, if it was based in real life, kind of stick just flew away. If it was based in real life, uh, Yokozuna wouldn't be able to get up the ladder. So to be honest, in this one I want him fully to win. I know Yokozuna will win, a bonsai drop him to hell. 
and Foley be like, oh damn. But Foley probably is really good in the ladder match because he can use weapons as much as he like. Maybe he won't win the match, but he will he will deliver a lot of damage. No, oh, for, oh, for, for. If Yokozuna wins this, I'm having a rematch because Yokozuna can't win. He won't be able to climb a ladder. And he's too big. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. But if Yokozuna does win, he's probably not going to win at the Money in the Bank. Will you either let him get a weapon or just not let him get a weapon? Just leave. Just, I don't know. Just let him get a weapon, is what I'm trying to say, pretty much. Yeah. Hmm. So it uh, is. Quarter past three, I have an hour till I have to leave. Uh, I'll have enough, more than enough time to get this episode finished. Unless the tag team match takes an hour, then maybe not. But uh, I doubt it'll take an hour. I hope not, anyway. I reckon this will be the... Uh, I reckon this episode will be under an hour, which is good, because the last two have been over an hour. Uh, Smackdown was one hour five, and Raw was one hour twelve, so... The chair is spazzing on Foley's leg. La 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 Yoko 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 Zuna Bonsai drops everybody. Foley seriously. It's not really the number. It's only three minutes in or something. Ugh. I took my dog down to the vet, but I can't be bothered walking all the way down because I'm a lazy shit. I spent the pa I've spent the past few weeks in my room and uh, it's become my home. Your cousin is attacking Foley with the table. First of all, I believe he's supposed to put people through a table, but then again, the table is a good weapon because it does weaken people. I suppose. Uh, Foley is going to get thrown to the post, then he's going to get the, the, a pretty athletic move there by Foley, getting out of the Samoan drop, and Yokozuna is taking control, Yokozuna is going to win this, isn't he? In the main event, I, I don't mind who wins, I prefer the Dudley boys, but if the Million Dollar Corporation win, that would be okay, I suppose, because Nick... I've actually, I don't know what I'm doing with this money in the bank for ECW because half the guys are going to be bloody big. If it's Yokozuna, Andre the Giant and King Kong Bundy, people like Christian Zack Ryder are going to have a field day. Because Christian Zack Ryder are high flyers, really light, and then you've got Yokozuna, 505 pounds, Andre the Giant, 487, King Kong Bundy, 444. That's 1,500 pounds about, 1,400 pounds, sorry. And then Christian and Zack Ryder weigh about 200 each. If you bring in Ron Van Damme, that'll be about another 200. Yokozuna weighs more than Ron Van Damme and Christian put together. That's I think, uh, I don't know. But uh, there's gonna be, if there's going to be three big guys in that match, then yeah, Christian and Zack Ryder are going to be... Uh, gonna be there's not going to be a chance that, that they're going to lose. Also, Van Damme or Slaughter is yet to qualify because we're having a rematch next week. Um, a random fact, I've just realised something. That uh, the, the outfit, the, I don't know what you call it, the, the pants, the sumo wrestling outfit, I don't know what you call it. But anyway, um, does that su the sumo wrestling outfit that Yoko's going to wear cover his belly button or does it not? Because... If it doesn't, then he has been made without a belly button. Uh, but um, if the what he's wearing it does cover it, then uh, yeah. Are you serious? Uh, uh. So there's going to be three, well, one big guy so far in the match. Here's your winner, Yokozuna. He gets a big victory here tonight. Love him or hate him, that was an incredible match. 
He is exhausted. really want Foley to win that. And Yokozuna on his signature no less. I thought I made this I thought I made this game more difficult by putting it on normal difficulty. I guess not. But here comes the main event where you've got the tag team match, we've got Andre the Giant and King Kong Bundy taking on uh, the Dudley Boys and the Million Dollar Corporation are all together there, all three of them. And this could prove a disadvantage for the Dudley Boys, but you never know. The Dudley Boys the Dudley Boys, not buys, might overcome it and get into the Money in the Bank match, which is what I'm hoping for. Please look for separate entrances. Oh, for fuck's sake. The following tag team contest is a no disqualification match. On the way to the ring, representing the Brotherhood from New York, New York. One half of the ECW World Tag Team Champions, Brother R.A.Y. Just ignore this. Just ignore this. I am definitely making them a tag team entrance where they both come out together. Just ignore all these entrances because Bubba did that on Monday Night Raw as well. Devin Dude Lee's fired up. Or Devon Dudley, as most people will know him as. I'm definitely making them a tag team match. <laughs> Devin Dude Lee is getting a little bit of extra practice in. See, this is why I need to look at entrances when I do them before I just accept them. Ugh. Oh, calm it, De calm it, Devon. Jesus Christ, Devon's getting a bit over, over the top there. And the reported scripts <laughs> from Grenoble in the French Alps weighing 476 pounds, the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Listen to this WWE Universe. So I'm assuming uh, Ted DiBiase is going to be coming out of King Kong Bundy, which is alright I suppose. Uh, Andre the Giant is going to try and uh, get to the ring, first of all. Then he's going to try and help his team win and get into that money in the bank match. I should have thought this out more, but you know, <laughs> who needs brains? <laughs> Not me. Uh, well, the Smackdown will be better, I'll, 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 I'll make sure of that. I like stroking faces. I'm gonna get a drink of Dr. Pepper. I think. Can you reach it? Yeah. 
And where's DBRC then? It's funny because the avalanche isn't an actual move on this, I don't think. And if it is, it's under some other name because I can't find it. I just talk to myself as I go down to the rain. <laughs> no bother. If you didn't know, um, I've got a fun fact for you before I start this match. Turn the volume down first, and then let's get on the way to see who's going to win. Oh, that's Dibiase, look. There he is. Uh, fun fact, the f uh, the theme that he used for King Kong Bundy in this is actually the theme that he used for the John Cena and Brock Lesnar Extreme Rules 2012 promo. So if you if you'd not seen the Brock Lesnar and John Cena 2012 Extreme Rules promo, then you'll notice that. So yeah, a fun fact there. And also, I think the big men are going to win. I hope not, but I think they are because they've got Tibiasi, Ted Tibiasi in the corner. Let's face off his Dr Pepper because there's like a tiny bit left. So hopefully the Dudleys win, but if they don't win, then the ladder match for ECW is going to definitely be fucked up. Whoa, god damn, calm it with Robinson. <laughs> Charles Robinson getting a big slap to the chest from, from Andre the Giant. Wow, and he, he's actually managed to get back up. That, my friends, is called No Selling Referees in 2K14. And if people don't know what selling is, I've explained it before in another video. I can't remember which episode it was, but I've explained it. So, so Brother R.A.Y. needs to tag in Devin Dude Lee before it's too late. And now the giant of Andreas is going to tag in King Kong Bunde. And that's the, that's the benefits of having a, a manager in these no disqualification matches. Um, the advantage is he threw a chair in for Bundy. I've got hiccups now, sorry. Uh, he threw a chair in for Bundy. In. There you go, look, you can see it. Mm. Come on, D, come on, Devin Doodley, break that up. For God's sake. Whoa! Shoulder block by Bubba, uh, by Brother R.A.Y. and King Kong Bundy counters. Yeah, the Million Dollar Corporation have won this. I, I'm not even gonna have any faith in the doodlies. Oh, with Devon coming in, this could be this could be big news for uh, the, uh, the, the the doodlies, doodly boys. Oh no, maybe not. I might make a big dick dude Lee so I can have him as a manager on the uh, that was the natural manager I'm not making that name up big dick, big dick Dudley he was a natural manager back in the days of ECW and the actual real ECW before it got closed down and then reopened again as a shitty WWE brand and then closed down again um, I might bring I might bring another Dudley in but I might not I don't know I might just have, I might change Bubba Ray to Bully Ray, I've said it before, I'll say it again, I think I will actually. But then there will be the Dudley Boys, which kind of ruins it, I suppose. Oh, but a blind tag by Boon Day, King Kong Boon Day. I, I think the Million Dollar Corporation have this one, because Bundy and 
Bundy and Andre have had this match from the very beginning, but uh, maybe change of fortune and Dudley, Devon, Devon with a hip toss. Now working on the arm. Yeah, this looks like a comeback for Devon. And going to work now on Bundy. Don't call him Bundy, but you know, Bundy, Bundy, something. Bun Knight. Why is it always that the ECW shows are shorter than any other show apart from main event? Like, these out of the. Okay, I'll start again. Out of the major shows, ECW is always the shortest. Because, uh, Raw usually goes on for about an hour, SmackDown usually goes on for about 55 minutes, and then. And then ECW goes on for about this long, about 45 minutes. I don't know why. Maybe it's because there's weapons and it's quicker to get a win. Well, uh, Devon should have seen that coming. I should have seen it coming, man. All the little hucksters. Right. That's a that's a quote from a promo in 30 years of wrestling. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to talk about now. I've talked about all I need to talk about, except uh, I hope you've enjoyed this 200th upload special. It's not really special. It's just a normal episode of ECW. And I think it's almost the end because he's hit his butterfly suplex. Uh, and Bundy's going to tag in and... Whoa, okay. Well, Devon obviously had enough to kick out. <laughs> and if the Dudleys actually win this, I will watch all their matches from TNA. That might be that might be a death sentence, but I think that was a tag finisher. Bubba Ray breaking up just in time. Yeah, it was a tag finisher. <laughs> I knew it. She oh, Bubba Ray now. Oh, the Dolly Boys. The double team on Monday. I don't really want to speak anymore. I'm sick of speaking. I hate my voice. I don't know why I do videos if I hate my voice, but you know. This should be almost over now. Uh, God damn it, but... Yeah. Bubba Ray's not going to get out of the ring again now, is he? I would be surprised. It's no disqualifications match. He doesn't really have to. Uh, I think the only way that the other boys can win is double teaming, really. Because they've done it in all their matches against these men. And also in the handicap matches they would double team uh, they did the double team on Giant and Bundy, I suppose. <laughs> Dudleys have got it pretty easy ever since they've joined uh, ever since they joined at one night stand, they've had it pretty easy. I think it was was it one night stand they joined or was the rest of the players, I can't remember. No, it was one night stand because the real Americans were feuding with Million Dollar Corporation at Russell Palooza, so, yeah. Bear hug! Oh, nice. Bubba Ray split up, but Giant Andre guy. Oh, what do you mean, Andre the Giant? Kinda. Oh, 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 this could be a turnaround. This could be a turnaround. This could be a turnaround for the Dudley boys. Knee drop, even though it was an elbow drop. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, maybe I was lying. Thought that I was lying. Thought that I was crying. But it turned out that I was actually telling the truth. La 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 la. Oh, Devon kicks out. Somehow. Devon needs a tag and... Uh, desperately. Yeah, Devon desperately needs a tag right now. Andre tags Bundy back in, and Million Dollar Corporation have been acting like a well oiled machine, and honestly. And DiBiase hasn't even been involved, that's what I was going to go with. I was going to go, honestly, DiBiase hasn't been that much involved, that's what I was going to say. But, uh. Yeah, I think the Dudleys have lost this, or at least they'll lose it eventually. Because uh, every time Dudleys will go for a pin, they've got DiBiase breaking up as well, so I think I think we know who's going to win this match. But if Dudleys win, then I will watch all their TNA matches. Including the last ever one as a team with, like, 
Motor City Machine Guns. I think I watched that one already, but I'll watch it again. I don't know why I'm acting like that's a punishment, because Dudley ma uh, the Dudley's matches are actually pretty good. I will sit on his face. Yep, it's done. Million Dollar Corporation beat the team that beat them last week. So three big men are in that money in the back match now. Does that mean uh, that the Million Dollar Corporation is splitting up or is it just a glitch in the game? I don't know. Let's just check the team list first of all. Oh, oops, no. Uh, uh. We've got WWE.com. Yeah, we know that. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the Corporation, alright. I think that was just a uh, the thing. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be. That's just gonna stay as that. But uh, while well, I'm here, Actually, you know, I'll do that after the video. But uh, yeah, this has been ECW. Oops, I accidentally went off it. Uh, so qualified into the Money in the Bank match are Christian, Zack Ryder, Yokozuna, and the Million Dollar Corporation. Without DBRC, because DBRC lost this match. But there's going to be a rematch between Van Damme and Slaughter next week. And we're not going to play that match. We might play that match actually. No, kidding, we won't. Uh, maybe that match. And that's actually quite a good main event. I think I might keep that. Although I did have something else in uh, mind. I might change it. I don't know. Uh, but next time it will be main event. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, 200th episode. 200 episode, 200 upload. Um, it's not been great, but uh, you know, it's been all right. So 200 uploads, wow. I know, I'm, I know, I really shouldn't be celebrating because it's only 200, but I'm still pretty surprised. Um, yeah, so this has been. Episode 62 of my WWE 2K14 Universe mode. And I'm pretty sure that 2K14 is changing colour. I know it is because it was really red before. It's going really red again. Uh, I never noticed that before until just there. But this has been episode 62, ECW. Uh, this has been the 200th upload on the Let's Play Free Games channel. I will see you next time for some main event. Goodbye.